PowerPoint 2013 Applying Excel Data Adding an Excel spreadsheet to my PowerPoint slideshow is easy. All I have to do is go to my Insert tab, come to my Tables group and click Table. I'll come down to my Excel spreadsheet option and click. From there I'll expand it and now I have my Excel spreadsheet. Let's paste some data in here. Here I've pasted some basic sales data within my spreadsheet here on my PowerPoint slideshow. The first thing I'll notice is that the first thing I'll notice is that here in my PowerPoint to my Excel ribbon to apply some basic functions, I simply select the area I'd like, I'll apply the auto sum to this area, come to my auto sum, and it's done. Let's take a look to see what our options are when I'm copying and pasting from Excel. Here I have my Excel worksheet open and my goal is to copy this area and paste it into my PowerPoint. I'll simply select it, copy it, and then let's take a look at what my paste options are. From my home tab in my clipboard group I'm going to click my paste drop down. I have five basic options here. Use destination style, keep source formatting, embedded, a picture, or text only. Let's use the destination style. Let's link an Excel worksheet into our PowerPoint slideshow here. We'll go to our Insert tab, come to our Text group, and click Object. Once I do that, I can see that there's a long list of programs in which to choose from. What we're going to choose is our Excel worksheet. Once I've selected that, I'm going to come to Create from File and choose Browse. Once I've identified the Excel workbook I want to choose from, I'll be sure to click Link. And what a link will do is create an image of the first worksheet of my workbook and will paste it here in my PowerPoint presentation. As I make changes to my workbook or my worksheet, they'll reflect here in my presentation. I'll click OK and there it is. I can always expand this out so that I can see my data a little better. Let's take a look at what other programs we can link to our presentation. If we come to our Insert tab and come to our Text group, we're going to click Object again. Let's do a Word document. I'm going to Create New. I'm going to click OK. And when I do, my Word processing program, Microsoft Word, will appear. I can simply just start typing. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for joining me, and I hope this was helpful. Take care.